Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood crackpot, Aim Math Nation. Happy Halloween to everyone who celebrates it, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Where we left off, Jacob and Evie had defeated Rexford Kaylock and have taken control of the Whitechapel district. Now, Jacob, being a bitch as he is, wants to uh, fix that rope gun he got from Kaylock. So, Henry Green has pointed him in one direction, and today we're going to follow it. Don't beat up my click. Yeah. That's right, squad. Who should I take with you? I'll take the guy with the nice beard and mustache. Let's go, my friend. Who newspapers? Read the news. Oh, it's just an illustration. Alright, where are we going here? We are going... Oh, we're in the Southwark district, that's great. We are going... Right here. I'm gonna call you Samson. Let's go, Samson. See if you can keep up. I've said it time and time again, London looks beautiful. See all these nice streets? Where all like, the people go in the carriages? Come on, Samson, you're too slow. You bitch. Watch out, kids. I'm jumping here. Fighter territory. Oh, that's a... Uh, Damn it, Samson! I'm here for like two seconds, and here you up getting into a fight. Samson, you bastard! That's why he died. That's just a guy running. Come on now. Fucking Samson. What it do, cuh? Can I ride this carriage with you? Oh no, I can come and it. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't see anybody of the sort. Oh, chill. No, you can't. Why does everybody want to shoot me? I'm not the droid you were looking for. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. I can't get on the horse. I can get on a carriage, but not a horse. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. All right. Well, I'm here. Alright. Freedom of the press. Them. Alec, whatever is the matter? 
I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, oh um... Alexander Graham Bell. Oh, that's crazy. Inventor and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, it looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Static Telegraph Company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Staric will be weakened. Only, we are somewhat at a handicap. And, there. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage, if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. Uh, that's crazy. Alexander Graham Bell. I think he invented the telephone. Oh, Miss Fry, I am so glad to... Oh, I'm Evie now. Oh, let me upgrade her real quick. She uses cane. She doesn't use brass knuckles. I'd like to see her use those, though. But she is level two. Or maybe she's. Uh, I don't even know at this point. She has the cukery. Oh, she wears capes. She has all this crap, doesn't she? Yeah, Evie is more of a stealth person, so I'll just give her stealth stuff. Oh, you have to Oh, you have to upgrade them one at a time. I get it now. Yeah, she I'll give her this. All right, Alex. You really ought to be here by now. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but the human voice. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. <laughs> telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the start. Watch out, everyone. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you Crazy woman on a carriage coming through. Yes. What is more, other small companies have had their lines sabotaged. And they have little means of finding any... Oh, it's Big Ben. To be found on top of Big... Westminster. Correct. That's where the, que that's where the queen is, man. To get through the guards. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. All right. Wait, how did I just do that? I'm now just like going up the entire building. That is dope. I'm gonna install that fuse. That's really cool how all these like historical people know the assassins. Like Alexander Graham Bell, Charles Dickens. Well, Charles Dickens doesn't really know the assassins, but they're just in there, and that's what makes it, this game unique. 
Lovely view. Assassin's Creed is the only game that can incorporate all this historical stuff with their own brand of history. Besides his technical flaws, Yubi really does a good job. Alright, Eagle. I want to scope out Westminster. Oh, you can see the view from... Yo, that's how big London is. This is insane. I'm going to have so much fun. Alright. I don't want to weep of faith, though, right now. Yeah, I don't want to drop down. I have more stuff to install. Install the fuse without going below 30 meters. Yeah, you can't fall. You can't go. I'm just like, drop. Drop. Hopefully I don't fall down. There's guys on the roof. I can LB. Oh, let's go. Like a tightrope. This this rope gun is insane. That fuse. So, what are you guys gonna be doing for Halloween? All set. Let me know in the comments below. I, me, I'm going trick or treating with one of my friends. Oh, I got a helix glitch. That's nice. This is so cool. You can now go like everywhere now. In previous Assassin's Creed games, you had to, like, get from here to here. You gotta drop down. Then you gotta climb all the way up to the next building. Hopefully you don't die going down. With Syndicate, this just makes it a lot easier. Oh, you like zip line down too. That is really cool. Going down. And now we're going up. Bruh. I'm not even gonna regular climb, I'm just gonna use this so often. Now we go back to Bell. Oh, wait, nope. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I entered restricted area, bitches. What now? And I did this all without, like, initiating combat. Like, that's basically Evie. She represents, like, the play styles of everyone. I'm um, inside the guard. I'll just pretend I never saw her. Oh, cool. Oh, crap. It's the Queen's guard. I thought these guys don't move. I thought those guys don't move. That one's trying to shoot me. Nope. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Royal, Royal Guard. With your pointy hats and shit. Or furry round hats. Yeah, this is Westminster. And this is... Is this Buckingham? 
I think. And they have, like, the guards. I mean, like, nowadays, they don't move. They're just there plainly for show a little bit. But back in, like, 1868, those are the clothes of the Queen's Guard. Queen Victoria. Victoria in London. Uh, uh. All right, Alexander Graham Bell, where are you? I almost got shot by a weird guy in a hat. You owe me. She's to get herself shot. Oh yeah, I already did get myself shot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... Uh, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What, maybe a little too well! Whoa! Ooh, 200 metal components. All right. Oh, look, a conveniently placed chariot right there. Come on, Bartholomew. Oh, my own carriage is fucked up, too. Slowly. Look out the way. Charging Bartholomew. Slowly now. Go on. Why don't I come over there and teach you a lesson? I ought to come over there and fuck you up. Come on. Evie may be attributed to stealth. But once she gets into a fight, she'll kill anyone. Oh, okay. Come on. Let's go. Her executions are worse than her brother's. Oh my god. I mean, with some metal. Me? Stop? No. My dear, I don't stop. I go. Yeah, I automatically loot them when I assassinate them stealthily. Hello. Let's push her there. They're they're standing no chance. Oh, there's another guy. Come on, big guy. Oh, all right, all right. I see you. All right, I got the metal. Okay, so this is how crafting works. Smoke bomb upgrade. Throwing knife upgrade. Medium bullet pouch. Medium bomb pouch, medicine efficiency, 
medium medicine pouch, knife pouch. Let me get the smoke bomb upgrade. And let me upgrade the throwing knives. Alright, let me get back to Bell's workshop. I'm sorry about the time of the last few videos. It's They've been like 40 minutes long. I apologize. From here on out, it's going to be... no. The maximum is going to be a half an hour, at least. That's the bare maximum. Who are you calling fuckers? I would use the zipline, but I just like running. Sorry, horses. Come on, come on. Ah, Miss Fry. Uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> and on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at any time. Okay, Alex. Okay. Trying to bag and shit. Now that we've finished with that distraction... Who is that? Oh, you mean... you don't know? Beautiful train you got here. Miss McBean was just telling me all about her. Name's Ned. How do you do? Ned Weinert. I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. Let us return to locating the Peace of Eden. We need to reclaim London from Staric. Who are my targets? It's not time for that yet. I didn't come to London to hunt curios. First understand the dance, only then become the dancer. Oh, so you're taking over where father left off. Someone has to. Evie, finding the precursor artifact will give us an insight into what the Templars intend. Jacob, I have information about Staric's associates that should be of use to you. Yeah. Oh, you finally completed sequence three. <laughs> it's about damn time. All right, let's do. Let's start that. This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. 
I don't see that cure arriving anytime soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars. Because there's the train hideout. Associate activities. Charles Dickens. Huh. All right, so for cable news. Okay. I don't want to start the mission just yet. Just for the sake of... I just want to... Look around a little bit. And I don't want the time to go up. Cook some money. I'm just looking around the train. Sorry for the pause. But you know what? I guess I'm going to end this episode right here. I don't want to, like, drag on the time. And you guys are going to like, ugh, another 40-minute video? Come on, now. Come on, Andreas. What are you doing? So anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It's actually starting to get a little interesting now. Because now we see a dynamic between Jacob and Evie. Because Jacob wants to take over the gangs. Evie just wants to find the piece of Eden. So it's going to be pretty cool how that rift is going to open up in the future. But anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subs subscribe to join the nation. And I want you to stick around for the next one. This is AMath Nation.